Hey everybody, Debbie Starr here. I wanted to hop in and just do this quick video. I've had a couple of questions about if you're using Go High Level slash FGF, Funnel Gorgeous, or any of the other white label uh, agencies that use the same platform, how do you change the background and the formatting of your individual courses and the actual membership itself. So we are inside of my membership area. And if you come up here to the top where it says membership and drop down to settings, the first thing that I want to mention to you is in the middle here is where you will set up your domain connection. So your customized domain. Now, if you have trouble with this, reach out. I'm happy to help you. But this is the link for my domain. And uh, that is the link that you can share with people once they've created um, or signed up for a course or multiple courses it will show uh, all of the courses. Now, if it's just a, a singular course or maybe they haven't even purchased yet, um, you can just send them there. That is the login page, all right? So I just wanted to show you that. So let me come back over here. So that is under settings. Now, under site details here on the left, this is where you basically brand your membership. So think of membership as your schoolhouse. You can have multiple um, lessons, courses, memberships, whatever it is you want to call it. But under the site detail it will impact everything in your school, so to speak. So let me just come back over here for a quick minute. You'll notice that I've got this little blue banner all the way around. It's got my little logo here. Those were customizations that I put in that impact my entire school library here. And where do you do that? Uh, right here on this page. So here is the logo that I've up uploaded. Here's my little favicon. So you'll notice, let me just drag this guy over here so it'll be right next to it. You'll notice my little favicon is there. So this is where you upload all of that. Now if we click on the advanced and come down here to custom CSS, that is where you can add some of the things like this little blue border that goes all the way around. Now, this video is not intended to get into any of the advanced stuff, but I just wanted to show you where it was. And then if you make any changes, then you just click save and you're good to go. Now, that is the, uh, the main site area. Now let's go into memberships, come down to products, I really wish they'd changed the name because yes, it's a product in the sense that you're selling it, but these really are your courses or memberships that you um, are inviting people to or helping people um, sign up for it. Now, how do you modify individually if you wanted it to look a little differently? Um, so when you hover over it, the three little dots if you click on edit details. So a couple of things here. This is where you put the title so that you know what, what it is. The description, it says here to add a one-liner, it will be displayed on the product welcome page. I do not use that because I find that it interferes with whatever image that I have uploaded. So um, that's all I'll say about that. So, and again, you can change the image, you can get into, um, customizing. So for this particular course, if I uh, wanted a different image, I could do that. If I wanted to change my title, if I wanted to change my bio information. As of this uh, recording, uh, you can put your bio information in, but it's kind of ugly. There's no um, additional formatting. Uh, in the future, maybe they'll change that. Here's my logo. Um, here's a little favicon for this particular one. Okay, and then you can get into advanced. And again, you could add custom, CS, custom CSS just for this. So again, we are modifying just this one course 
if we wanted some of the background information to be a little different. And then when you click on the customize here, right now, again, as of the of this date of the video, there are uh, two templates and the templates basically just show you the layout of how the course will look. So you could preview these. So if I wanted to preview this, it would just show me that, okay, this is uh, more of a thumbnail uh, view. If I preview this, then it's more of a uh, is, do they call this like a column mode or lineal mode? Okay. And then when you click on it, that's when you can customize it. So I'll just click to customize and everything basically is customizable, so to speak. And remember I said that border and um, different things like that, some of that is being brought in by the CSS for the entire membership. And then some of it is brought in based on what I put in for that course. Now, if we click, uh, uh, the first tab is layout. You open up the theme setting. Uh, you can change your primary colors, the header placement, the font, the background color, all of that. Then when you get to sections, the hero section, uh, now it's, I used the wrong size here. It's, it's saying 1600 by 350. It really should be a little skinnier, I think, for that. And that's what's going to show up right here. If I remove it and save the changes, the default is just this little picture here. So if you wanna change this picture, then under the hero, come here, upload your image, and that will change it. On the header, we click on the header if I wanted to change the background color. Um, I think that's about all that I can do there, all right? So the header, the hero, uh, the lesson progress, again, you can change the colors on that. The course body, again, the same thing. You can change uh, different things with that. You could actually add a background image for the course body as uh, you go through. And then here on the instructor, um, again, uh, the background color, the fonts, all of that kind of stuff. Now, uh, again, some of this I have preset under the CSS for my entire school or my entire membership area. So it just depends on if you want to individually control it for each course or do it under the membership through the entire school. All right, so it's that uh, simple when, when you're modifying your course, uh, you just uh, get in here, modify these to uh, whatever you want. So I'm gonna come back here to the gallery. And then, you know, if you do make changes, you just make sure that you save it and you're good to go. So it's that simple to create the look and feel you can customize for the individual course and then also the look and feel for your uh, entire school so that when people land on that page what will it look like for them at that point all right so i hope that uh, video was useful for you and i'll see you in the next one